Hey guys, welcome back. I'm EDC Gunner and this is my EDC update. EDC stands for Everyday Carry. It's basically the items we carry on a day-to-day basis in our pockets, but with a little twist, with an aspect and focus on being prepared more than normal people. You don't want to be a sheep dog. You don't want to be sheep. When something happens, like uh, recently in my area, a couple of big major earthquakes happened i it was shaking on my in my building i was shaking very much it was very scary hopefully my folks were outside uh but uh i got pretty scared uh, it was really shaking and uh yeah um you always want to have some sort of flashlight with you in case i do i have a flashlight on my phone but uh, first thing what happened uh, during that earthquake was I tried to contact my wife and uh, the phone lines were busy. They were overloaded and it was it was really scary. Fortunately, I used the uh, uh, Facebook Messenger call application and that went through but something like that happens you need to be prepared and uh flashlight it's good for day-to-day basis something drops behind your couch you can use it uh, there's a power goes out easily you can use it but uh when the building collapses onto you you can use the flashlight to signal for sos for the rescuers and that's why i have a flashlight and uh, even though this one's cheaper, I need to upgrade it. It's it's a great one. It's a double A flashlight. Uh, it's like five bucks on eBay, on Amazon. I will link you this one. And simple as an on and off button has three modes. It has actually strobe SOS mode, high low, and it's using single double A battery. And I always keep it in my pockets. Uh, because it's winter time, I have a coat, so I have lots of pockets, and I also have my f- pocket knife, and this is Pideco, it's Pideco Persistence, uh, it's my first Pideco, I use, recently sharpened it, and I you know it's not my nicest Pideco, but I still love it, and I always will have this one, even though I will not flash it in the public, show to the people, uh, because for that reason, I have my latest birthday gift. Uh, that's a, just a small Victorinox knife, red Swiss Army knife. That's gonna work. It will work like a champ. It's very sharp as well. I love this thing. Uh, it's I I just tossed a little lanyard on it. It has a tweezers, has a toothpick. Uh, bottle opener, capo opener, all that good stuff, but I love the charm and it just works. And um, I know it's a little bit uh, quick baby title, but I want to talk to you about phones because recently I switched on the on the iPhone from the Android. I've been I was long time Android user, and my friend uh, who we had the iPhone seven. And he always said, switch to the iPhone, man, you'll see, you'll see. And I did some research and pretty much uh, it, it's more reliable. It won't let you down. But I've been using my Samsung S9 Plus for years and it never let me down. No bugs, zero. It worked like a charm. And I don't know what the hell are you talking about. This phone is awesome and it definitely made awesome pictures and videos better than his iPhone 7. Anyways, uh, it, I got a little bored around New Year's Eve because it's quarantine and everything and I uh, I, t- I thought I should upgrade my phone and I was doing some research, wanted to get S20 Plus and, uh, and that little bug, I tried to try the iPhone, okay, and I got iPhone 11. iPhone 11 sucks and it was really... Uh, iPhone 11 is good if you've been using uh, the 7, iPhone 7 or something like that. But I switched from Samsung S9 Plus to iPhone 11 and it sucks. The LCD screen, the 
that's, that's horrible. LCD screen technology is horrible. I saw the camera quality was way better on my S9 Plus and most of the videos I've shot on my S9 Plus on my channel, uh, all the watch reviews and everything and the camera quality and everything. I was not happy. I was pretty mad and angry and I told him, I called him, hey man, your iPhone sucks. I want my phone back and it's, it's horrible. And, uh, but I, I was using it for five days and then I decided, okay, let's give it a shot. Uh, I wanted to give a proper chance and uh, I upgraded to iPhone 12. And I like the iPhone 12 because of the looks. Uh, it has that old school. I did use iPhone 5 and 6 briefly a long time ago. But old school look, the square box and everything. I kind of like the looks of it. And I wanted to give I wanted to give a shot uh, to the iPhone to use it and everything else. So yeah, I got iPhone 12. This one's okay. Is it better than the other Android phones? Uh, I don't know. I'm not really convinced yet. Uh, sure, the main argument is no bugs there. It's more stable or whatever. But I've been, I'm a heavy phone user and I use my S9 Plus for years. I played a lot of PUBG, Call of Duty, all that during quarantine. It runs like a champ. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. It's more stable than Android. It's pretty stable too. So you pay premium for the iPhone, but I don't see any big value for money when it comes to it. But I'm I'm gonna hold on to it. It's okay. Uh, I already I hate switching phones because there's a lot of. Uh, real estate you need to move here and there and whatever so um that's my just humble and honest opinion about iphone versus android so there's no big deal there's no big difference uh, i think the android it's more i like it more uh, but yeah it's okay the iphone 12 is i can recommend the iphone 12 and 12 pro but uh 11 no, if you you have 11 Pro, that one is okay, but 11, iPhone 11, uh, I don't know, stick to Android. Anyways, so yeah, that's it. That was my honest um, opinion, and uh, but I wanted to give it a go. So yeah, here I have my keys. Same mo, same mo. I have my arsenal. That's why I'm a gunner. That's why I'm EDC gunner. And uh, yeah, this is Arsenal. I have a Spydeco Grasshopper here. This is Wicked Sharp Blade. I keep it just to have a Wicked Sharp Blade and to uh, cut the seed belts for God forbids I need it or something like that. I have a Weatherman. I have a Weatherman Bruiser. I don't really use it, but I like having it there. And it has a, such a cool name. I have a backup flashlight. Phoenix CO5, this one is like a tank. And you won't crash the, you won't burn and crash the, here, the focal, what do you call this, lens, because it's thick, and uh, really love it. Great backup, AAA, I love those conventional batteries, here I have a cash stash, I put some cash in here, yeah, and that's it. Uh, so that's it, the keys, now. I have a watch. I'm a watch guy. I always wear some watches and rotate watches. Uh, but recently I found a great watch for EDC. And I haven't done a review of this one. I actually didn't do unboxing as well. Because uh, unboxing, uh, I have another channel in my language. So I use that uh, unboxing for that channel. But yeah, this is a Citizen Pro Master. It's a great dive watch. Um, it's an ISO certified diving watch. So, but what I like about it, it's cool for EDC. And it, this one has a little bit of history. I think the Italian Navy military Marina has been using this for over 10 years uh, as a their standard issue watch. And it, I like it. And uh, I, I tossed it on this NATO 
a band from Vario. I think it's kind of works. It has a green indices, this watch, and the green NATO. I, it's just match made in heaven. And I'm going to review this watch, but I love it. This is a great EDC watch. It's going to run you about 200 bucks. You can get this used, but uh, 200 bucks will get you one of these. And it's a great diving watch. Has a rotating bezel. Uh, glow in the dark is strong with this one. Screw down crown and everything else. I will talk to you about it in a watch review because I review watches a lot. I'm a watch channel, but I like EDC. And also, I've been, I rotate a lot of watches. I'm wearing today my Breitling. And uh, yeah, what else? I have here this pouch because it's winter. I like pouches, I like leather goods. I have a Rotring roller ball uh, pen. And I have a simple ballpoint pen for the post office and stuff like that. So I don't, you need to press hard to make a copy and stuff like that. And uh, this, this little pouch I have when I get a spear watch or whatever. And I want to toss it this in my pocket. This is just a leather pouch. And I put stuff in here uh, and I bow it. Yeah, I forgot to bring you my wallet, but the standard run cat of wallet, twofold wallet, nothing special in there. I have some band aids and uh, cash. Yeah, and uh, lighter. This is a cardio lighter, vintage cardio lighter. I love this thing, it's so quality. I you can pick this up on eBay, it's very good quality and fancy, and I love it. It kind of feels vintage you know, like 70s, 80s and uh, it's great quality and the last but not least i have a spear backup face mask it's almost a year now since the corona um started and all this uh, these lockdowns and I, I got used to it we all got used to it i'm not wearing my hand sanitizer anymore my wife does but i have a big box of face masks uh in my hallway and whenever I go out I put a face mask on my face but sometimes it will happen I'm gonna go and buy some bread milk milk break bread milk cheese bread milk cheese oh no no mask and gotta go back to the home so that's why that's why I have a spear one in my pocket at all the time uh, just in case I forgot I have it some in my car as well but yeah that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I mean, DC Gunner, and I made this way too long. But if you made it this far, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, you are the MVP, and thank you for supporting me all these years. And I will see you in the next one.